Hey everyone, my name is Kyle and welcome back to Aztec Studios. For today's simple setup tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can download Windows 10 without having to use this media creation tool. Going to the Windows 10 download page, you used to be able to see an ISO disk image link that you could have clicked on to download Windows 10. For some reason, Microsoft decided it would be a good idea to remove those links and to replace them with the media creation tool. Now in my personal experience, it took me as much as 10 to 15 minutes, if not a little longer, for it to download, compile, and to have my iOS already. To me, it's not really worth the time and effort, and for those of you who are running on older computers, I don't want you guys to run into the same experience as I did. So we're going to bend the rules a little bit by obtaining these download links straight off the web page. To do that, you need to launch Google Chrome, and then head over to the Windows 10 download page. Then you want to go to Developer Tools, Click on the Devices icon, and then on the drop down menu, click on iPad Pro. Once you do that, refresh the web page and then close Developer Tools. Then on the drop down menu, you can choose your preference between Windows 10 Anniversary or the Creators Update, and once you have chosen which one you want to get, click on Confirm. Then here, click on the drop down menu to choose your primary language, and then once again, click on Confirm. Once completed, you now have 24 hour access to both 32 and 64 bit download links and you didn't have to get the download tool just for that. It's really that simple. So if you found this tutorial to be any helpful or to any good use to you, be sure to leave a like and if you have any suggestions for a future tutorial video, I am more than welcome to take a good look at your ideas. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, the button is right there below you and if you'd like to make a small donation to this channel, um, I have my Bitcoin and my Ethereum wallet addresses available in the description below. And with all that said, thanks for all for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.